Muhammad Ali. The WWE Universe is chopping to the bit to see these two competitors go at it. You can count me in on the excitement. I can't wait. Here we go, fellas. I've been looking forward to this one for quite some time. What the fuck? Scoop slam! Kofi Kingston's career, the exciting superstar has competed in several types of WWE matchups. It didn't take long for Kofi to get comfortable in the tables match environment. At 2011's TLC event, Kingston took on the Celtic warrior Sheamus in a tables match for the United States Championship. Kofi was impressive in the match as he combined defense with his unbelievable high-flying assault. Byron, you spoke about Kofi Kingston's tables match against Sheamus at 2011's TLC event. Some people feel that match was one of the turning points for Kingston. That night, Kofi's usual fun-loving nature took a back seat to a more focused and offensively aggressive competitor. Kofi Kingston's focus was leaving TLC the new United States champion. And that approach paid off, Michael. Kofi seized opportunity when Sheamus made a rare mistake. He drilled the Celtic Warrior with the Trouble in Paradise kick, and that set up Kofi to fly from the top rope and put Sheamus right through the table to earn the United States Championship. You want to talk about WWE Hall of Famers taking things to the extreme? The first time many fans saw somebody put through a table was in 1984. Randy Macho Man Savage drove Ricky Morton of the Rock and Roll Express through a table with a pile driver at the Mid-South Coliseum. Corey, I remember seeing photos of that horrible scene in wrestling magazines. The pile driver was utilized when Terry Funk planted Nature Boy Ric Flair on a table at WCW's Wrestle War 89 pay-per-view. And something happened in sports entertainment in the early 90s called Extreme Championship Wrestling. ECW superstars crashed through tables all the time. And what was going on in Philadelphia caused a craze of wood being turned into wood chips thanks to tables matches. Thought, in order nigga. to win a tables match, <laughs> a competitor thought, must be nigga. the first person to put their opponent through a table. We've also witnessed brutality evolve oh. and superstars crash through flaming tables. It shouldn't be a shock there that the Dudley boys were involved in one of the most intense KC tables matches we've seen in recent memory. At the 2015 TLC event, the Dudleys called on their extreme brothers, Tommy Dreamer and Rhino, to battle the Wyatt family in an eight-man elimination tables match. People were flying everywhere that night. And in classic ECW fashion, so were the trash cans and kendo sticks. The match at 2015's TLC event with the Dudleys, Tommy Dreamer and Rhino versus the Wyatts was chaos from the second all eight superstars were in the ring. Ron Strowman was also in his destruction of all four members of Team Extreme, but the ECW originals kept their focus on making sure each member of the Wyatt family crashed through a table. The ECW's originals love a brawling clash with the Wyatt drive to destroy anyone. Uh-oh. What a strike. Nice. Shut it down. There are so many different ways for a superstar to put their opponent through the table in a tables match. Some matches start off as wild brawls and a table is brought out from under the ring in the match's opening minutes. In others, skew. <laughs> Incredible.
Byron, you talked about strategy that involves a tables match. I was in WWE when the Dudley Boys came from ECW, and you could say that things changed a bit thanks to Bubba and Devon. Something that's also important to remember in a tables match is that it's not important how or where the table is positioned. All that matters is that you put your opponent through it. It's a very simple premise, Michael, but superstars have to be careful. They launch an attack that goes awry. Their own momentum can put them through the table and cost them the match. That doesn't include feeling the incredible pain from crashing through a solid wood table. One split second can be the difference. Oh, so ruthless. Now that's how you use a table to your advantage. I don't believe it. And that table can shorten careers, Michael. It shouldn't be a shock. The Dudley boys were involved in one of the most intense tables matches we've seen in recent memory. At the 2015 TLC event, the Dudleys called on their extreme brothers, Tommy Dreamer and Rhino, to battle the Wyatt family in an eight-man elimination tables match. People were flying everywhere that night. And in classic ECW fashion, so were the trash cans and kendo sticks. Boom! Face first! The end may be near, folks. And things look bleak right now. Oh, no, we've got a problem here, guys. No kidding. Who knows what will happen next? Looks like both these superstars have found that little extra something to keep themselves going here tonight. What's coming next? Impactful slam! Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh, oh yeah, I love this. All in. What a strike. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. One of the greatest strikers in the game right now. What a hellaciously physical match these gladiators have put themselves through. The intensity of this has been incredible. Uh-oh. Batten down the hatches. Now five! Thunderous! Warm up the bus. This one is over. This has been a battle. Look out! What a way to win a singles match.
Cause it's about to get high. Oh. Yeah, the devil's in the next room. I know what I mean. Cause I was sent to warn you, the devil's in the next room. Yeah, the Let's talk about my smile director liners and my morning routine. There's the boot again. Redmond is there to block. You can feel the electricity running through this arena. This is going to be some battle, one-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano. Here we go, fellas. I've been looking forward to this one for quite some time. Here we go, back inside the ring. Oh, what a slam. Without a doubt, this is a volatile situation, guys. WWE superstars are dangerous without weapons. Then you put them in an environment like Dom. Good grief. Hard to argue Michael's point on volatility and the volatility of this match. But what I think oftentimes gets overlooked is the mental anguish that goes along with competing in a match like this. Oh, boo-hoo. Cry me a river, Saxton. These competitors knew exactly what they were getting themselves into when they chose this profession. Authority. 
I created evolution. <laughs> You're gonna die, bro. Beautiful technique. The more heat, the better. That create the tension. Put that pressure on it. I'm gonna say, watching this match, I'm definitely seeing. And a kick out, not even close on that. Too early in the match to end it. Yeah, but it's all about sustaining that effort. Let's hope he can do it. Harsh impact. And I want you. Scoop slam. Oh boy, he is rolling. Big time buster. Truly devastating, Cole. Jeez, I felt that one over here. When it comes to brutality, mm -hmm. I would agree with Michael Cole's. The taste of bomb! Oh my I God. think this is the big going to the cover. Digging deep for a kick out. So resourceful. And a pin attempt. No early kick out. Still too fresh. There goes the ref. Oh, oh no, my this is not Wham! Oh, oh, I have my whole signature. I have my hand. Okay. Looking for the exclamation point. That's rope raid. Fighting for survival. Fuck off me. Watch out here. Caught off guard. Look out here. It reverses. Reverses that one. Damn it. Oh, earth shattering spine buster. Oh, it's over. He's making a statement oh, here with this attack. Bro. This is so Thank not you. cool right now. Thank you. Thank you. In matches like this, guys, you learn very quickly which superstar <laughs> it really takes to ring. truly get extreme. I will burn. Could lead to a big time win. Game, set, match. This one is over. Not much behind that pin attempt. Not quite. Finisher. Huh? Regarding Corey's point about superstars having what it takes to get extreme, oh. I would argue that every superstar in the locker room possesses a mean streak. What yeah, goes up must go down. Are created and equal, Michael. But I'd say there's only a select few who can turn their mean streaks all the way up to the most extreme level. Uh-oh. Ooh, what impact. I knew it was only a matter of time. Man, you're oh, so fucking shit, bro. Just wearing down the opponent. This one is over. Digging deep for a kick out. Yeah, it's gonna though. take more than that. That shit ass that it don't do nothing, bro. That bit was small. Bro. Yeah. Oh, an elbow drop. Oh, bro, bro. All right. Now I gotta make some move, bro. We're gonna get like three or two finishes in a row. Um, oh boy, he is rolling. Man, it's all about the game. Looking for a repeat. Spy Buster! Now it's time to capitalize. You gotta believe this one's over. I hate that bit too. Big time slam. Vicious. You are so accurate in that. <laughs> what you doing now for a game? We got no. Alright. Nail it. Using the elbow as a weapon. Oh boy, he is rolling. This one's getting ugly. Bro, you might want to turn away a weak heart. When this guy's on, look out. The fuck over here. Oh, what impact. Damn, bro. That's just what so annoying. Good grief. Uh-uh. Not to the nah, bro. Oh, bro. Nah, God. bro. You got to tell the air, bro. Oh, boy, yeah. Get up, bro. Use that reversal, bro. Use that bit, bro. Oh my god, oh, I got resilience now, boy. Come here. The taste of all! 
here. That's I'm gonna kick out. Cover here. Kick out. A kick out, and you can see the frustration starting to build. Can you believe this? I thought I had my spine, but I ain't gonna hold you. Will this be enough? No! <laughs> There's the pin. It's over. Damn, we even fuck. Oh, have to tie back up, man. Oh, kids. We'll leave it like that, too, because I'm gonna get off and go get ready. <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna go like that. I ain't gonna go like that. I'm gonna beat you real quick. Nah, you good, man. I'll think I'm gonna I gotta call my girl. Alright, alright. Wait, before, before, before you go, did you clip any of these games? Uh, 